When people think about what it will take to solve the problem of climate change, they often don't think about cities. They think about the world's forests or they think about the energy supply. But it turns out that cities can be a solution to almost half of everything that needs to be done on climate change. A city with zero carbon can be a better city for all. Reducing inequality, ending poverty, and reducing emissions. Cities are uh, basically uh, responsible for close to 80% of greenhouse gas emissions. In the next 30 years, two and a half billion people will be added to the world's cities. People who are living on the periphery might not have adequate access to economic opportunities in the center. We have a lot of people that are dying prematurely because of air pollution. There is a way to build and manage and live in cities differently. By shifting instead to compact, connected, clean cities, where we have electrified transportation that is bus-centric or mass transit-centric. We can have a solar panel in our houses and have electricity that comes from clean sources. Whether it's, um, it's water, whether it's sanitation, whether it's, um, whether it's, whether, whether it's uh, schools, whether it's markets, we can very quickly see how we can reduce emissions in line with what the science tells us is necessary. Cities are the future for sustainable societies. The cities that are shifting fastest to a low carbon economy, that's where the dynamism is going to be, that's where the economic development is going to be strongest. Our evidence shows this transition will create millions of jobs. Many local governments, mayors, through their political commitment, are stepping in in the fight against climate change. But they simply cannot do what they need to do without national governments. Transport policy, building policies, energy policies. There has to be resources, like-minded people, and the support from the national government to the cities. Significant, large-scale investments in buildings, transport, energy, material efficiency could generate an economic dividend worth close to $24 trillion. We're in an emergency situation with climate, let's face it. Um, our house is on fire. 65% of the SDGs are not going to be met without cities and regions on board. Cities are the economic powerhouses of their country. At the moment, national governments are not taking that opportunity. We need them to unleash the power of cities. Every national government should develop a national strategy for shared prosperity and climate safety in line with delivering net zero by mid-century and to then place cities at the very heart of that strategy. It is absolutely urgent that we act now to create zero carbon cities.